Whoa. Oh. Holy shit. Welcome to a segment I call Knuckleheads Driving Through Water. Where'd that come from? This is from my boy Ben Gregers out of the UK. I put a link to his channel below this one. This is a notorious river crossing that maroons more vehicles than any other in the UK. More than 100 rescues there in just five years. Apparently people living in nearby houses say they have lost count of how many vehicles have got stuck there. One local resident who lives just around the corner from the Ford has plenty of stranded strangers knocking at their door asking for help. Most are just people who are just too impatient to drive around an alternate route, they say. Quote, we've had knocks on the door for help when it's flooded. There's always someone being rescued. And when other cars get stuck, people try and go through. It's a common sense thing, really. People should have more sense. These cars are not amphibious, end quote. Check out this Mercedes as it attempts and successfully goes through, well, halfway through. Oh, lights go out. He's thinking, yep, he's stuck. And now here comes a little Ford. And they get, you know when you get water on your windshield and the water is midway through your hubcap? That's a problem. Then you have this heating and plumbing company van go through. They do fine, apparently. Now a Ford Transit vehicle. Again, water nearly into the cabin, but these guys are pretty confident as they go through the water, no problem. There's the ducks on the right-hand side. Oh, are they stalling? Are they stalling? They may have to take a break here in a second. As the steam comes out the back of the vehicle, there could be a problem, G.H. Preston. Yep, he's talking to his buddy right now. Should I call for help? Oh, here comes a Mercedes. Yes, sir, Europe car. Moving your way slowly through the water and getting stuck. And now we've got a sporty Mercedes thinking it can hydroplane across. It does, but for how long? Oh, oh. Maybe water, water's in the transmission, in the engine. Chris He, not a good thing to have your license plate with your name on it when you're going through a troubled area. All right, Sally just wants to get to school, but Dad says, I can go past this, no problem. We're in a, a van, a Versa van of all things. Oh no, Dad, we're stuck. How about this Volkswagen? Oh yeah, up, over, into the engine, transmission, we're flooded. What's gonna happen now? I'm famous on YouTube. All right, Madonna behind the wheel as they get inspired going through the water. Oh, that is deep. Do you know how to Vogue? You better hurry up, get through, get through. Wow, that was successful. What a career, she's doing well. Good on you there, Madonna. Keep Voguing. Uh-oh, stalled. Another brave Mercedes transit van. Oh, that water is definitely into the engine. Oh, we're gonna start smoking here in a second. It's gonna float. This is a amphibious vehicle. Check it out. They are floating for sure. Look at that well over the wheel wells. Yep, definitely in float mode right now. <laughs> Try to roll the window down. Hey, not too bad. The water wasn't that high for that guy or that gal. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the engine, <laughs> the hood and the back smoking. Oh, Cheech and Chong still smoking inside that car. Hey, how about a Volkswagen going through this one? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, we make it. Did, did we make it? Oh, I'm on my phone. Someone tell me. Are we live? Yeah, you know these taller vehicles. They seem like they can do it. They've done it before. Oh, that was not a good one. That was not good. Prasco, call the sales hotline. Oh, let's follow the leader. We'll fall. Oh, again, once it goes over the hood... You are stuck. People watching, laughing, pointing. Hey, Mom, look what happened. Another knucklehead trying to get through. Oh, if we get speed, maybe that'll work. No, water is too strong. You're through now, temporarily. Let's see how long you go before you stall out. There you are. Better call for an Uber. They got Ubers in the UK, right? Watch out, duck crossing. Here comes another one. It's got a little Nissan. Yep, once you get over that grill road is closed but i guess they can't read and that concludes today's episode of knuckleheads driving through water
One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.